Hey lovelies! Today I am very excited because I have a special guest joining me in the kitchen. This is my lovely friend Sarah and not only is she one of my besties but she's also got a brand new yoga mm. channel right here on YouTube. Tell them about it. Yeah, so I have been sharing wonderful weekly yoga sequences and tips over on the channel and it is accessible for everybody so no matter what level you are, I promise you'll be able to find something for you. We've even got something for her over there. Because, as Sarah knows very well, I'm the least flexible human being in the universe. You don't need to be flexible to do yoga. You really don't. Well, thank goodness for that. <laughs> now, since Sarah is joining me in the kitchen today, it felt appropriate that we share something delicious but mm. workout worthy. Absolutely. Today we are making amazing energy bites. And because I'm on Sarah Lynn's channel, classic domestic geek style, we are doing it three delicious ways. It's the only way to fly, really. I'm really is. super indecisive. That's really what it all comes down to. I can never tell which flavor I want to do, so I just do them all. <laughs> These are easy to make, super portable, and great to have before your workout or after your workout because it's packed with tons of great ingredients that are gonna give you the fuel you need. So these energy bites are awesome because they actually all start with the same base. Once yes. you've got the base down, you can basically make them with any types of flavors you want. Exactly. These are really wonderful to customize, so don't feel limited by the ones we're doing here today. But for our base, we are going to get started with some soaked and pitted dates in the base of our food processor. Now, it's really important that you make sure the pits are removed so you don't <laughs> destroy your food processor. And soaking them is going to help them to come together a lot better. So once you've got those in there, you can add some old-fashioned oats as well as some shredded coconut. Now, coconut haters, do not fret. These do not have a super mm -hmm. coconutty flavor. No. At the end, it's really just a texture of it. It really is. Now it's time to customize. So for our first variation, we are gonna add some dried blueberries in as well as the zest of a lemon. Now, this is one of my favorite combinations. Blueberry and lemon is so great together. Plus, when you zest the lemon, your whole house just smells amazing. So what's not to love about that? Now that we've got all of the ingredients in our food processor, you can simply put on the lid and blend it until you've got the perfect consistency. Then it's just a matter of rolling them out into little balls of deliciousness. Mm -hmm. Exactly, and you can put them on a parchment lined baking sheet here or a plate if you'd like to put them in the fridge or even you can put them in a zipper bag, put them in the freezer, make a big batch and save some for later. And these will disappear quickly in your house. <laughs> so you do want to make a big batch because I promise they are addictive. Now the next flavor combination is one of my personal favorites. Mm -hmm. I won't lie. Seen some similar combos on this channel before. That's why I put this one together. We are making some peanut butter chocolate energy bites. You really can't go wrong with that, right? So once again, we are getting started with our soaked and pitted dates in the base of our food processor. We're adding our old fashioned oats and our shredded coconut. And now it's time for the good stuff. We are adding some peanuts to our food processor. Now you can use salted peanuts or unsalted. I like salted because they do add a little bit of extra flavor to this one. Salty, sweet, delicious. It is one of my favorite combos. Next up, we are going to add some peanut butter and some cocoa powder. And we're gonna put the lid on our food processor, blend it all up until you've got the perfect consistency, and then you're ready to roll out your perfect size bites. Delicious. Honestly, guys, these are to die for. I really hope you will mm -hmm. give them a try. And for our final flavor combination, it's another classic, mm -hmm. orange and cranberry. Yes, this is one of my absolute favorites. So once again, we are getting started with our soaked and pitted dates in the base of our food processor. We are adding our old fashioned oats, our shredded coconut, and then our dried cranberries and our orange zest. And then to really pump this up a notch, we are adding a sprinkle of cinnamon as well. So tasty. Such a good combination of flavor. Yeah, I love these flavors together. They are such a classic. And once again, it's just a matter of rolling these out into your perfect bites. And once you're done all that hard work, you've earned a taste test. Mm. Those are incredible. Yeah, the blueberry lemon is my personal favorite. I just love that lemon zest so much, but... Chocolate peanut butter, mm -hmm. my friend. Close second. We're gonna take a chew break. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And another bite break. I can't stop. Bites. My loves, I really hope you will give these awesome energy bites a try. They are perfect post-workout. Mm -hmm. Speaking of post-workout and great segues, 
Today on Sarah's channel, she has an incredible yoga sequence that's perfect for after a workout. Exactly, it is a wonderful routine that is gonna stretch out those sore muscles after you've been running or been pumping iron at the gym. So definitely be sure to check it out. And of course, let me know what other sequences you wanna see. And of course, while you're over there, be sure to subscribe. And thanks for the love, <laughs> so nice. Well, thanks for coming over and making me energy bite. Oh my gosh, anytime I love hanging out in this kitchen. <laughs> so delicious. It is a pretty delicious place mm -hmm. to hang out. If you guys give these energy bites a try, be sure to tweet us, Instagram us, or Snapchat us a photo, because of course we love hearing from you. The full recipes are in the description box below, so you can take a look for them there. And finally, if you have not already, be sure to subscribe. Because there's lots more deliciousness where this came from. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So oh, good. Cool. Energy bite deliciousness. Don't talk with your mouth full though. For the whim. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. I need another one.